question. Go ahead, y'all. I'll, I'll answer your question. Feel about, like, with the whole thing with Russia starting the war. And see, it shows me that prophecy I had enough is closer to the times, but I want to ask a question. Like, yeah. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us I pray that we make it through the fire This word gon' take us higher, yes I know I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us I pray that we make it through the fire This why did we as so-called black people have to go to slavery? What's so special about us? That's a good question. That's, it is, it's, a, it's a beautiful question. Because when you look at this sun, who else did this happen to? It didn't happen to the Ethiopians. It didn't happen to the, 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 the Sudanese. Sudanese. It didn't happen to them, but it happened to the so-called blacks that were specifically in the west coast of Africa. The so-called white man, he came into Africa and then he took over where? South Africa. Did he take them and put them in slavery? No. But he made us slaves. Read to our chapter 28, verse 68. We're gonna see that we're gonna show you this according to the Bible. Because this is all prophecy. The most high God said according to his prophecy, he'll give them the prophecy, and they're supposed to go in the streets and prophesy to the people. So when they see it happen, they know the Lord is the living God, man. That's a true leave That's true, that's true. Right, right, right. Oh, for the tribe of Levi? Uh, yeah, that was their role. That's true, that's true. Our, law, our, our role was to teach the Lord. That's what our first prophet was Levi. Of the tribe of was Moses of the tribe of Levi. Read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Let's hear one of the curses. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. One more time. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Moses took us out of Egypt. Do Christians ever tell us how Moses took us back to Egypt? The Moses, the Lord said that where are you, the place that you saw, you're never going to see it again. That's actually referring to Egypt. When he was in Egypt, the Lord promised us he was never going to take us back there. We don't keep going. Thou shalt, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. The Lord spoke to us as a nation when we were in slavery and bondage in Egypt by Moses. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. One more time. Thou, Thou shalt see, see it no more, more again. again. We never saw Egypt again. Some of our people lived there. Remember Christ, his story? When he was yeah, two years old. Yeah. Exactly. When he was two years old, they took him to Egypt. Yeah, learn art and all that for sure. But you know what's beautiful about that? If Christ was a so-called white man, if Christ was a so-called white man, how can a white family hide amongst a nation of black people? That's, right. that's, again. that's a great question right there. That they don't talk about in the church. Even when he was leaving, um, uh, even when he was fleeing the, um, fleeing the king that wanted to kill him when he was just born over there in Nazareth. Right, in Matthew chapter 2. Right, he was, he, 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 he got out here too easily, being so special. But I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm continuing, I'm listening. Of course. You, you made a good point. Because you know what? We may say Egypt because that's a specific place, but really he fled into Africa. He went into Africa to hide from what? From the so-called white men in a nation of full of black people? That don't make no sense. This is the this is the tomfoolery that they teach us in the church. Because they don't want us to actually learn about the Bible. We start learning things about the Bible, guess what we're gonna have to do? Start questioning things, things that they taught us. Like, who are we? We're so-called Jamaicans, we're so-called African Americans, Haitians, Hispanics. We're all these races, but guess what? They don't show us where they are in the Bible. They don't show us why we're going through the things we go through today, but it's in there. Go that's ahead. A, I said, and that's a good reason to understand why the flesh will no value, so you don't get confused. Right, right. Go ahead. I'm listening. Now I said that's a good thing to understand that the flesh will no value, so that you don't get confused. Of course, and I agree with that. Here, keep reading. I'm gonna add on to what you just said. Go ahead. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen. For what? Bondmen. One more time? Bondmen. One more time? Bondmen. Bond for bondmen. This was such a heavy atrocity that happened on the earth that guess what? We still remember it today. We still talk about the slavery that we went through here in America. Slavery always existed in the earth. That's true. 
But when we go into the Bible, there's a certain way you had to have slaves. You couldn't be killing your, you couldn't be sla killing your slaves just because you want to. You can't castrate your slave because he wants to run away from you because you're an evil bastard. You can't do that. You can't sleep with your slave's wife and sleep with their children or sodomite their sons. You can't do that. That's not how it was. But this is what they did to us. You know why? Because they are our enemies and they hate us. And the Bible taught us that. Give me to Ezekiel chapter 35 verse 5. We're going to see that according to the Bible. Listen, every year it seems like we're trying to find a reasoning on why they hate us. It's not, there's, there's no reason. They simply hate us because we are better than them. That's right. When you go into, when you search them into history, that's right. Like he's in the spirit. When you go into this, when you go into history, you see a lot of adventures that we have today. It's made by black people. When it comes to the first nuclear bomb that they had, search up a man named Ernest Wilson. Ernest Wilson Jr. He was a black man in Manhattan that was the lead person who led the project on the first nuclear bomb that they bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You know what I'm talking about? Manhattan Project. Manhattan Project. But he was in New York. He was in New York when he said it. When he did it. Go ahead. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. Uh huh. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. What happened? Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. One more time. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. These people have had a perpetual hatred, and every year they're trying to change up why they hate us. It's not because you're black. That's a lie. The so-called Arab man comes in here, he'd be opening up gas stations all the time. Where do you see the white where do you see the white man slamming him on his neck on the street? Where do you see him killing him on the streets? It doesn't happen, but it happens to us over here in America. Go ahead, I'll answer your question. How do you feel about like with the whole thing with Russia starting a war? See, it shows me that prophecy added up. It's closer to the times, but I want to ask a question. Like, are we, as far as the secret excellence is concerned, do y'all feel like we should? Because some people say we need to be trying to get to the holy land, and some people saying that deliverance gonna come from here. How do y'all feel like we should be? What's y'all take on that? No problem. I got you. Hey, uh, Captain Oko, give me the time stretch. Be shut cut down short. Should be cut in short. Give me the give me Daniel chapter, give me Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 1 and 4. I'm gonna show you what Russia's doing right now with Ukraine. I'm gonna tell you this. Don't even let it stress you. Don't be fearful. Don't be scared. You know why? Because that's according to the will of God. Right. All life and death and everything, war, peace, all that's in the hands of God. And a specific prophecy that's in the Bible. He's right. about to show you right now. Them doing that is gonna lead to our redemption. Them doing that is gonna lead to our salvation. It's not because they love us. And care about us, it's all according to the program of God. Right. Read that. Ezekiel 38 and 1. Ezekiel 38 and 1. Uh huh. And the, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, uh -huh. set thy face against God and the land of Magog. One more time. Set thy face against God and the land of Magog. God and Magog, those are the children of Japheth, one of the sons of, e of Noah. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Japheth, called, Japheth he had his territory was all from Russia all the way to the, Gre the, Gre the, the Grecian Isles. So all of Russia, that used to belong to Japheth, a black people. But the so-called Caucasian, he moved in there and pushed them out. And when he moved in there and pushed them out, this prophecy was talking about them. It's not talking about the people, Gag and Magog. But read it one more time, what it say? The land of Mega. The what? The land of Mega. One more time. The land of Mega. Not the people of Gag and Magog. Not the people of Magog and Gog, but the land, the area. This is dealing with end time prophecy. And think the most high, we're living in that area right now. That's dealing with Russia. Because right now, Russia and America, they're actually, right, actually, Russia's a little bit over America right now when it comes to nuclear war arms. Because those nuclear war arms are going to be used against America toward its destruction. North Korea and Iran. All of these places are going to build a covenant where they're going to go against America. And that's all according to biblical prophecy. Verse 4. Ezekiel 38 4. 4. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaw. Verse 3. Verse 3. Uh huh. And say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O God. Uh huh. The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. So even though the Most High is using Russia to do this, guess what? He's not for them. He's just only using them. That's why the fourth verse said what? Read verse four. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, Russia all of them. For, Russia for years has been preparing itself to go to war with America. But why is it every time it threatens America, it turns back? 
and makes a claim. Oh, we're close. We're three seconds away from doomsday. We're three seconds away from midnight to doomsday. Nuclear war. war nuclear war. But why is it always going back? Because the most high, just like you have a dog who's, who's crazy, crazy, wants to bite everybody. You put a leash on your dog, keep pulling him back, pulling him back. That's the same way the most high used these nations. These nations would have been went to war with America and destroyed this place. North Korea, Iran, all these places have beef with America. But why you won't go to war yet? Because it's, it's not according to their program, it's going to the most high's program. Right. Now so, give me the so, book of numbers. So Russia taking off there shows that we like we're close, we're close. But the thing is, is that is it close to World War III? I wouldn't agree. The reason why is because it's not Amer it's not Russia going against another country like we were just talking about before. Well, Ukraine well, used to be a part of Russia. Ukraine used to be a part of Russia. So this is really this is really Gog taking over Magog so that it can fulfill the prophecy of them coming against us. That's really what it is. But when they do it, and I pray the most high, they do it and are successful. We're, we're going to be stepped closer to this kingdom. We're going to be stepped closer to our deliverance. 